so good morning all of you very important class today so last class we did level annuities and today we will be continuing our journey on level annuities okay so a quick revision so the first thing is a n p so what does this a n p mean so here n is number of years and p is number of times the frequency of payment in a year and what is the formula it is 1 minus v to the power n by i p clear if it it, it would have been a due then in the denominator dp okay so last class for example uh for i am i am making one example okay so okay so let's take one example hmm. so quarterly payment is there quarterly payment is 40 okay we are making the payment for 5 years and the rate of interest is i2 by 2 is 6% what is i2 by 2 what is i2 by 2 half yearly effective okay 5 years quarterly payments are years this is the case now <laughs> we will study this case and we'll study all things surrounded this surrounding this this is the most important concept okay <clears throat> so in one quarter we are making 40 rupees in one year we will be making 160 rupees so the annual rate of payment is 160 let's assume we need to calculate the present value okay so a because the payment is in arrears not a due 5 5 5 because five years in one year how many times the payment is being made four times so p will be four the payment is for five years and every year we are making four payments what will be the rate of interest please type in the chat box what will be the rate of interest fast please use the chat box what will be the rate of interest I want to know what will be the rate of interest fast. See, last class I told one thing and then I ended the class that this thing, this thing, and the rate of interest will be of the same time period. So now we are working in annual. So we'll use annual rate of interest. So we have got I two by two. We need to calculate I calculator change. ठीक है So I two by two is given. So what is one point zero six? 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 Tell me. It is the accumulation factor for. It is the accumulation factor for half year, because six percent is the half yearly effective rate of interest. One point zero six square. accumulation factor for one year minus 1 will give me i please solve you will get 0.1236 okay so basically the rate of interest will be 0.1236 hold on hold on don't copy don't copy okay the first thing is they are going to cook up lot of stories in the question the first step is to make the equation and then forget what is 160 what is 5 what is 4 what is 0.1236 we will do this sum in two steps the first step is to understand the question and make the equation now last class we did some tetly problem solving did you think what is this 5 no you just assume that this is what i and you calculate i4 for the denominator we'll do that only 
डोंट थिंक दैट दिस इज एनुअल और क्वार्टर और समथिंग लाइक दैट दिस इज आई वाई आई एम आई टेलिंग यू ऑल दिस इज विल बी वर्किंग इन हाफ इयर ऑल्सो देन डोंट कंफ्यूज दैट दिस इज आई नो इफ वी वर्क इन हाफ इयर्स देन वॉट विल बी द इक्वेशन जस्ट होल्ड ऑन इन वन हाफ इयर हाउ मेनी पेमेंट्स टू so the half yearly rate of payment is 80 a how many half years in 5 years 10 so 10 half years and in one half year how many payments and what is the half yearly rate of interest 6% so at the rate 0.06 wait wait now don't put your extra brain don't think what is this point it is what i and you need to calculate what you need to calculate what i too clear first step is to understand the question and make the equation and once the equation is made then don't think that what is this point 06 or point 1236 one more way we can do this sum let's say we are working in quarters the time period in which we work at least one payment should be there in this sum we cannot work in months we cannot work in two months but we can work in quarters and multiples of quarters like half year years etc so now if we work in quarters then in one quarter one payment 40 how many quarters how many quarters in 5 years 20 in one quarter how many payment one so if 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 nothing is there then it is one only okay we don't need to write one like this okay so this is normal level annuity this is normal level annuity there is no psl concept because we are working in the time period in which the payment is being made okay so at the rate we need what we need what quarterly effective rate of interest we have got i2 by 2 we need to calculate what i4 by 4 yes your heads are straight okay so in one half year how many quarters two so 1.06 can we write like this 1.06 is 1 plus i4 by 4 square why because we are accumulating accumulation factor for half year with accumulation factor for half year okay so it will be 1.06 to the power half minus 1 whole into 4 okay 1.06 to the power half minus 1 whole into 4 now you need to do all the three calculations and check whether all the three answers are same or not because all the three answers will be same solve yes i was checking your knowledge that is why we need i4 by 4 only okay now solve
वट इज द आंसर फाइव नाइंटी सेवन दिल्ली बाबू आर यू गेटिंग द आंसर समृद्धि वैद्य वाई आर यू नॉट कमिंग फॉर फिजिकल क्लास टेल मी तो ए फोर फाइव एट द रेट जीरो पॉइंट वन टू थ्री सिक्स तो द आंसर विल बी वन माइनस वन पॉइंट वन टू थ्री सिक्स टू दी पर माइनस फाइव बाय आई फोर एंड दिस आई फोर विल बी इवेल्युएटेड टेकिंग दिस वन पॉइंट वन टू थ्री सिक्स इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस आई फोर बाय फोर होल्ड टू दी पर फोर Yes, it is not I two by two. It is actually I only. In the first case, it is actually I only. This is annual effective rate of interest. All the three methods, okay. All the three methods. Two. Sharon, are you getting the answer? Sharon Samson. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Varuni Goel. ओके नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल सो लेट्स से सपोज द पेमेंट स्ट्रक्चर इज लाइक दिस हंड्रेड 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 ओके एंड यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट द एवी हियर ओके द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज एट परसेंट so how do you do that the first thing is how is the payment structure is it in advance or in arrears advance so number of payments number of payments 
so if we do s u 6 where will the accumulated value fall if we do s u 6 100 s u 6 then where will the accumulated value fall at time 5 or at time 6 at time 6 because in advance the last payment is at n minus 1 but the accumulated value falls at time n in the same manner here the last payment is at time 5 but the accumulated value will fall at time 6 and then from 6 to 10 again accumulating this for 4 more years so it is 100 as due 6 at the rate 8% into 1.08 to the power 4 please calculate and get the answer Solve question number 34 after this, okay?
वट इज द एंसर ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्पल वन जीरो सेवन सेवन पॉइंट एट नाइन ओके एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर यू सॉल्व तो क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर इट विल बी वन माइनस वन पॉइंट वन नाइन फाइव सिक्स वन एट टू दी पावर माइनस थ्री पॉइंट फाइव बाय आई ट्वेल्व फिर आई ट्वेल्व विल बी कैलकुलेटेड वन पॉइंट वन नाइन फाइव सिक्स वन एट is equal to 1 plus i12 by 12 whole to the power 12 okay now put the heading perpetuity put the heading perpetuity so the word perpetuity is made of two words perpetual and vt so an annuity that goes on forever is known as perpetuity okay so for example let's say suppose a company is paying dividends of 10 in arrears till infinity because company has perpetual existence so what will be the present value 10v plus 10v square plus 10v cube plus dot 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 to infinity right let's say suppose the interest rate is 12% okay so it will be infinite gp a by 1 minus r so this is 10 into 1 by 1.12 1 minus 1 minus v is d so it is 0.12 by 1.12 so this and this gets cut so what is the final answer please tell me 10 by 0.12 this is equal to 83.33 so this is the answer okay so please copy this write down an annuity that goes on forever an annuity that goes on forever an annuity that goes on forever is known as Here the company paying ten rupees ten dividends annually in arrear. ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव सो नाउ आई हैव मेड अ फॉर्म्यूला फॉर परपेचुटी इन द न्यूमरेटर इट विल बी द एनुअल अमाउंट ओके and in the denominator it depends like if the payment is annually in arrear then we are going to do i if the payment is annually in advance then we are going to do d if the payment is continuous then delta if the payment is half yearly in arrear then i2 half yearly in advance d2 monthly in arrear i12 monthly in advance d12 like basically the denominator will go consistently like the phle formula okay so please copy this down
Calculate the present value of an annuity that pays 150 per annum annually in arrears forever using an annual effective rate of interest of 8 8%. Very good. So this will be 150 by 0 0.08. Clear? What is the answer? 1875 Question number 36 Question number 36 Calculate the present value of payments of 2000 at time 0 1 2 0 means what advance and rate of interest is given so we'll be using in the denominator d okay so this will be 2000 by D which is 0 0.076 by 1.076 please calculate so what is the answer 28315.78 Okay Question number 37 Calculate the present value of an annuity that pays 300 per annum monthly in arrear So what is the signature for monthly in arrears? I-12 Okay and 300 per annum So we are going to do 300 by I-12 Okay, but they have given us I. So when I is, so when I is 0 0.06, we need to calculate what? I 12. So this is 12 into 1.06 to the power 1 by 12 minus 1. Please solve and get the answer. Yes, Maruf. Right, yes. sir. So regarding this I-12 and I-12 by 12, I had this doubt. Hmm. Uh, this I-12 is the normal interest rate, right? Yes. And I-12 by 12 will be the effective monthly interest yes. rate. Yes, yes. So in this annuity formula, we have to use the nominal rate or the effective? Nominal. Nominal. What is the answer? Question number 37. Hmm? Next, put the heading Deferred Annuity. So, what is Deferred Annuity? Deferred an there are two kinds of annuities. One is Immediate Annuity, one is Deferred Annuity. Deferred means something which is not immediate. Immediate means what? Either the annuity will start from time zero that is due or the annuity will start from time 1 that is arrears okay immediately means what time 0 immediate means what not deferred deferred means either the annuity is going to start from 2 3 4 okay immediate means what it will be starting from the first year either from the start of first year or from the end of first year and deferred means what not first year okay so what is the symbol? Let's say suppose an annuity is for 10 years and it is deferred for 5 years. So we use the notation 5 deferred A10. Okay. So if we draw the timeline, what does this mean? This means the annuity is for 10 years but it is deferred for 5 years. So 0 to 5 there will be no payment. The first payment will be at time 6 and the last payment will be at time 
15. Okay, at time 5, there will be no payment. Same example, if I use A due 10, then what will be the scenario? The first payment will be at time 5, the last payment will be at time 14. Okay, clear? Copy this. The symbol for deferred is this slash. So in the case of deferred annuities, first you need to calculate the value at time 5. Okay, and then from time 5 you need to take the value to time 0. Okay. So a general case, M deferred AN. M deferred AN. This means what? If we draw the timeline, so this is 0 M, this is M plus 1, this is M plus N. So the first payment will be at this and the last payment will be at this. There will be no payment at time M. So how can we solve these kinds of questions? So first, we will be calculating the present value at time M. Okay. So this will be AN. AN is the present value of the annuity at time M and then from M to, D, M to 0, we will do V to the power M. Okay, copy. Same M deferred ADUN. In this case, Shreya, the first payment will be at time. The first payment will be at time M. Last payment and will there be a payment at time M plus N? No. So first we will calculate the present value of the annuity at time M. So this will be A D U N and then from M to 0 will give me V to the power M. Okay. Please copy all these four cases. Hmm. If, if you use the formula, uh, like in this case, let's say suppose you are using this, if you calculate the value at time m plus 1, like basically at time 6, then it will be a du 10, v to the power 6, okay? Now, deferred annuity, the formula only changes for the present value. There is no change in the accumulated value. Because in all the cases, we will be calculating accumulated value at the end of the annuity period, which is time 15 or time M plus N. So there is no change in the formula for SN. Okay. Cases copied, yes or no? Please check. Write a note. No change in the formula for accumulated values. No change in the formula for accumulated values. No change in the formula for accumulated values. No change in the formula for accumulated values, okay? Okay. Why there will be a change? The first payment is at time 6. The last payment is at time 15. So if you want to calculate the accumulated value at time 15, you will simply do S10. Simple. Question number 38. So ignore the part using both equations 7.1 and 7.2. You just need to calculate the value of 8 deferred A12. At the rate uh, convertible half yearly means I2 is given I2 is given 0 0.062 okay so first calculate the annual rate of interest so the annual rate of interest will be uh, 1 plus 0 0.062 by 2 square minus 1 first calculate the annual rate of interest so A12 into V to the power 8 simple. 
कैलकुलेट दी आंसर What is the answer? Yes, Maruf. Uh, sir, in this. Uh, uh... What is the answer? Five point zero six one five. Question number thirty nine. An alien on the planet Z is currently age forty eight years. When the alien retires at exact age sixty, sixty. So forty eight is here. 60 is here it will receive an income of 500 per year payable continuously okay so 500 per annum continuous till age 76 calculate the present value of the retirement benefits using interest rate 10% so i is given as 10% so basically for 16 years so a bar 16 500 a bar 16 i is given to be 0.1 Into v to the power twelve, clear? Very simple. Delta. Ah, we'll calculate it. No, no problem. Us. Five hundred one minus one point one to the power minus sixteen by ln one point one. Okay. Into one point one to the power minus twelve. Solve for it. क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन आफ्टर दिस ओके
हो गया क्या दिल्ली बाबू डन ओके यस चिल ब्रो हा कम ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन डन हा क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन यस लेट्स डू इट कम एवरीबाडी Your first time Kolkata. Don't roam outside. Stay in your PG. Come to coaching. Go to college. If I see you in any of the pubs or hookah cafes, then you see. Okay. Only go to college, PG, home. College, PG, center. The, all you also. Question number thirty-one. Calculate the present value as at first January 2019 of a series of payments of hundred payable on the first day of each month. First day of each month, not advance, monthly in advance. First day of each month for 2021 and 1st so january 2019 is 2018 so 2019 from here here it will be the first payment yes what is this 2019 ends and then 2020 first day of each month okay This is the first year, second year, and third year. The timeline should run in your blood. Then only you will be able to be a good CM one person. So payments of hundred. So what is the annual rate of payment? Twelve hundred AU. What three? Twelve at the rate at the rate point zero eight into clear yes or no solve solve it yes sir मुझे इसी में एक major doubt था That if we are taking twelve hundred, so हमने तो एक साथ पूरा annual amount ले लिया, but वो monthly amount जो accumulate होगा, उसका जो discounting factor होगा, वो कैसा उसमें adjust होगा? That is why we have solved for PHL, ना? I have shown you the full proof of quarters okay. and the formula. अच्छा अच्छा, so that's the reason we are taking it. In the denominator, we'll be using D twelve. Ah yes, okay okay, it's got it got it. you know what why have i done it like this there is a reason this means what 2019 has ended and 2020 first day so this is basically jan if i do it like this then it is 31st december 2019 okay copy sir uh, it's like alternative method as it ho sakta hai that if we solve it in monthly annuity and we take the interest okay. as i to okay okay wait 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 if we are going to solve by months then it will be adu 36 100 at the rate uh, you need to solve 1.08 to the power 1 by 12 minus 1 ओके एट द रेट मंथली इफेक्टिव इंटरेस्ट रेट व्हिच इज आई 12 बाय 12 इनटू बी एट द रेट 0.08 ओके थैंक यू नेक्स्ट पुट द हेडिंग कंपाउंड इंक्रीजिंग एनविटी कंपाउंड इंक्रीजिंग एनविटी So 
so compound increasing annuity means what where the increase is taking place by a rate the increase is taking place by a rate so let's say suppose the first payment is at time 1 and it is 5000 the second payment is increased by 5% the third payment again by 5% so it will be 1.05 square and the payment continues for 10 years so it will be 5000 1.05 to the power to the power 11 11 9 in 2 it is 1 in 3 it is 2 so in 10 it will be 9 okay let's say suppose the discounting rate is 10% okay and you need to calculate the present value so compound increasing annuity means where the amounts increase by a certain percentage for example rents medical cost okay coaching cost school fees okay so now if we calculate the present value at time 0 we will be using the present value at time 0 now there is no specific notation for compound increasing annuity okay so we are going to solve it 5000 V plus 5000 1.05 V square plus dot 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 plus 5000 1.05 to the power 9 V to the power 10. So we will be taking 5000 V common. Okay. 5000 V common. So inside we are getting 1 plus 1.05 V plus 1.05 V whole square plus dot 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 plus 1.05 v whole to the power 9 okay so now listen to me now most important the most important step what we are doing we are increasing the payment by 5% and then we are pulling it back by 10% so we need a netting rate okay we are we are basically compounding something by 5% and we are pulling it back by 10% so we need something net discount rate okay so what we are going to do is we are going to take a simplification assumption so what we are going to do is we are taking 1.05 v as v dash okay so what is this 1.05 by 1.1 is equal to 1 by 1 plus i dash first solve for i dash first be quick solve for i dash solve for i dash so this i dash is basically the net rate we don't need to compound and then discount if we discount by this net rate we are going to get the same results okay first calculate i dash how much is it 1.1 by 1.05 minus 1 point louder point zero four seven six one nine. okay so now let's say suppose we are increasing something by 5% and then we are pulling it back by 10%. Now we don't need to do that thing. We'll just pull it at 4.7619%. Okay. So our equation turns out to be 5000V 1 plus V dash plus V dash square plus dot 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 V dash to the power 9. Okay. So what is this? What is this? What is this? Annuity paid in advance for 10 years. Annuity paid in advance for 10 years. Where the rate of interest is what? Rate of interest is what? 4.7 something something something. Our question is done. So our final answer will be 5000 by 1.1. Because the outside V is at 10%. Okay. So 5000 into A due 10 at the rate. 0 0.047619 copy and solve the most important part in compound increasing annuity solve first slowly slowly copy and then solve now for the next two days the class will be at 4 pm okay those who cannot attend they will watch backup From next week onwards, what we will do is, uh, we will have both the classes, paper A also, paper B also. So once you come here, more time will be invested in studies, okay. Four, year, four hours, we will try to keep the class.
I am also gaining some momentum when you all are coming. Because in online the maximum duration that I can teach is one 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 hour. Okay. This batch will be called CM1 Stay Ahead Batch because you all will be completing the syllabus when others will be starting the syllabus. So that is why this batch is named as CM1 Stay Ahead Batch. Why are you laughing? Basically here we don't need to compound and then discount. We are basically netting of the payments. Okay. This is a very useful trick that we'll use in coming classes also. What is the answer? Hmm. Hmm. All of you will solve. What is the answer, Samriddhi? Varuni, what is the answer? What is the answer, Dipesh? The hell you got the answer? Hmm. Learn this method.
we have just used 1.05 v is equal to v dash so it is basically net discount factor so 1.05 by 1.1 is 1 by 1 plus i dash so we are calculating the net uh, interest rate in which we need to discount the question one more example So here the payment is for 20 years. Now listen. Now the base, for example, they will tell you that the medical cost today. Now what does today mean? Time zero. Medical cost today is 2000. Okay. But we'll start incurring the medical cost after one year. Okay. And the inflation in medical is running throughout and it has started today only and it is 3% per annum okay so basically you are an insurance company and you have given a policy where you will be covering the medical cost of a policy holder for 20 years today the medical cost per annum on average is 2000 okay and the inflation in medical is 3% and let's say suppose your discount rate is uh, 8% okay so you need to calculate the present value of the medical cost in the coming 20 years so when they say that the that you will start incurring the cost after one year this means what from time one you will start incurring the cost and the first cost that you will incur is not 2000 it is 2000 into 1.03 okay so this is how we'll make the timeline so it is 2000 into 1.03 the next is 2000 into 1.03 square and the last one will be 2000 into 1.03 to the power 20 okay so if we calculate the present value at time 0 then it will be 2000 1.03 v plus 2000 1.03 v whole square plus dot 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 plus 2000 1.03 v whole to the power 20 okay again we are going to take common but now we are going to take common only 2000 okay so inside it will become 1.03 v plus dot 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 plus 1.03 v to the power 1.03 v to the power 20 okay so again we are doing the same method we are taking 1.03 v as v dash so it is 1.03 by 1.08 is equal to 1 by 1 plus i dash okay so please calculate i dash and once we calculate i dash what does our equation become it simply becomes 2000 v dash plus v dash square plus dot 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 plus v dash to the power 20 so it is annuity paid annually in arrears for 20 years so it will be the final answer will be 2020 at the rate i dash percent please solve
done okay so we will study till here only now uh, tomorrow and day after the class will be at 4 pm okay uh, please tell the answer 25,235 point. Okay. Thank you all of you. Wrong.